All right. Well, here we have Francesca yeah. and Cassia. Yeah. Did I say it right? Yeah. Kasha. Yeah, Ka Kasha. Kasha. Great. Um, uh, sorry for my bad English. I have uh, a translator no, with me because, because yes. Yes, actually, you're I understand in nothing. Okay. In, it, in Italian too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. I barely understand English myself. Um, let's, let's see. Well, I've got you both here. This is exciting. I mean, hmm. I mean, you're both. You know, very successful, powerful, talented women. Um, do you think there's something? Because I know this movie is about like a central character that's a man, but uh, do you think there's like a? What do you think the women in this movie are? They powerful? Are they part of the the story? Like a main thing? È molto importante comunque che che le donne raccontino anche gli uomini, anche questa idea che in questo periodo che le donne devono raccontare solo storie di donne. È abbastanza mortificante. I think it's women who have to talk about and tell stories about men first and foremost. It doesn't have to be women talking about women all the time. I think it's pretty mortifying to say that. I like that. They talk about the Bechel test or something where it has to be women talking to each other, but why can't a woman just tell a story about yeah. a man? I love that. Um, and just for Cassia, um, I just saw, I watched a clip on YouTube just now of you, I guess, discovering that. Marco was cheating on you and everything and you're throwing things around and getting all upset. Was that hard to play? Do you get emotionally upset yourself or is it just acting? I broke my finger in that, <laughs> in that scene. Um, it, was a, it was a very challenging character for me, I must say. Uh, not because of that particular scene, but because of the whole character. Uh, but I like challenge. So um, um, I had to really dig really yeah. deep inside to find a strength and a fragility that has uh, M Marina, my character. Yeah. And and again, friends around, a great story. Um, I, th I think it's a very spiritual story and a spiritual movie also, you know, and, and it's just, I think we were all committed to, to, and really all loved the book. We really loved the book and we really wanted to, to, to give, um, to the audience the same sensation that we had when we read the book and I'm really happy that I, I did this movie and thank you for Francesca and being awesome. a great guidance in oh, this trip. Wonderful, so they're telling me to wrap it up. I just have one quick question. I know your, your feature debut was Mignon has come to stay like in 1988 and it was a teenage love story. Do you think this is kind of coming full circle because now it's a man that's you know gone through his entire life and everything It's sort of capping your career in a way? E sono 30 anni che faccio questo lavoro, ho fatto tanti film diversi e comunque eh, è come se fosse tutto un unico film, è come se tutti i personaggi fossero in qualche modo parenti. Ho fatto film presi da libri, eh, da commedie teatrali, soggetti originali, anche da un testo scientifico di un neuropsichiatra è tutto materiale che uno lavora per raccontare un'unica lunga storia che è la storia diciamo di, un, di evoluzione del, del, della coscienza umana del, quello che in, in, in Europa chiamiamo Balzac la chiama la commedia umana So actually I've been doing this for 30 years and of course I had different characters I created different characters but I have to say it's like one single film for me so all the characters are part of that it's the experience of uh, the human existence as Bazak says it's the story of the human existence so that's what it means to me beautiful and just uh, as a little gift because uh, while I was waiting for you I drew a picture of you uh, there you are uh, and that's what you would look like if you were acting in the movie have you ever, have you ever thought Thank of acting <laughs> no we'll leave that to Cassia then here here's there I drew you what do you think of that <laughs> hey. uh, very, I look very happy here. Yes, yeah, I think. And the actresses are ne they're never happy. No, you're brooding, you're serious. Well, well not here. I wish I could be like that. Mm. Thanks a lot. Well, maybe it's because uh, you're, you know, you're working with your husband. He you produced the movie, kind of thing. So yeah, this is, that's doesn't that's work not helping. Way, that's know. not make, not making you happy. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> then you got to go home and fight about this, the <laughs> yeah, movie, exactly. and I was like, Ugh. it's like I just can't get away from no, you. It's never a good choice. Yeah, All right. You. Well, you're welcome, and welcome to Toronto. And uh, thank you so much for making this beautiful movie.
Thank you. Thanks All right. a lot. Excellent. Thanks for drawing. You're welcome. Thank you. And if you ever need anybody who looks like this, I'll be in the next movie. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, how do you say you're welcome in Italian? Prego. 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 Grazie.